Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty, and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and a judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth, shall I wager all our fortunes. As you will. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that for now? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah! To hell with the Ocuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Morbles best suited for study, no more. <sighs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured Nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <sighs> Tell me, Venar, have I not been an apt pupil? My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reins, seated on throne immortal, rent from time? For your ascendance vain, I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Redda say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe he found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? Oh, shit is hitting the fan. It appears as though, as far as we can tell, actually, pretty much been confirmed by that conversation that they had, that Dr. Sid wanted them to come here and pick up the Treaty Blade. Now, we have that sword here. Not a particularly useful sword for a fight. Two-handed... 
doesn't do a lot of damage. He can't even hurt himself with it. It's ridiculous. But it has the ability to cut Nethocyte up. Uh, the the original weapon that we had, the where was it? Um, Sword of Kings was the sword that we had picked up quite a while ago, and it had the it's like pretty much the same use as an actual weapon. But what it did was it had the ability to destroy Nethocyte. Now the sword, the Treaty Blade has the ability to carve Nephthysite up and allow it to be split up into these smaller pieces which made the Dawn Shard, the Dusk Shard, the Midlight Shard. And, well, that's something that we're going to have to try and go and... We got to... Damn it. <laughs> Touch the device. If we can use this sword effectively, we can get our own pieces of Nephthysite. But that seems like if we go and do that, we are playing into the hands of Vane and Dr. Sid. And I don't think we really need to point out that that's probably not a good thing. Whatever it is that they have planned, whether they're going to wrestle the fate of humanity away from the Okura, or whatever it is that they're trying to do, I can't imagine that it's going to be good. So, where is my uh, teleport? Belfenheim. I'm trying to get to Belfenheim. Am I nuts not seeing it? <laughs> oh, the port of Belfenheim. There we go. Okay, back at Belfenheim. Uh, it's been a little while. Ooh, treasure chest. Give it to me. Damn it. It's been a little while since we've been here. We have... Oh, that's a nice nice uh, amount of gill there. It's been a while since we've been here. I'm gonna sell shit. Come on, bro. It's been a while since we've been here, so we have a lot of crap we can sell. And this is probably like the first time in a long time we are likely to have been in an area long enough to accumulate enough root of enough loot to make it so you can really upgrade your weapons. A lot of times leading up to this point I've run short on money because I wasn't spending enough time going around and okay wasn't spending enough time just building up my money. Ooh, the Grimoires. I can pick up the Grimoires finally. But I'll, I'll save that for a later date. Remember that the Grimoires allow items that you win from certain enemies that you kill to be, like, better items. Anyway, I'm just padding the end of this episode. I'm going to end it before I go and do anything. So, feel free to cut it off if you don't feel like watching me run around like a retard buying crap. Hey, you know what? Hell, I'll just send you on the episode now.